Hi everyone, this is LQ with another PoseVault.com tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to isolate your line art for work in Photoshop using the inversion masking technique. So here is the very familiar pencil work that I'm going to isolate. Obviously there are a lot of different techniques I could use to isolate this. The most common one, I think, is the multiply technique. And with the multiply technique, I'd either set this original layer to the multiply mode or I would set my paint layers to multiply. The benefit of the multiply technique obviously is that it is very simple, which is probably the reason why I see it demonstrated so often. It does have a couple of pretty big drawbacks, however. Using multiply on your paint layers will alter the quality of the color on those layers. It also prevents you from using any other blending modes on your layers while you're working. Um, also, since there's no transparency involved with the multiply technique, uh, it's much more difficult to change the color of the actual lines themselves, which can be very useful. There are other methods, and a lot of them involve selecting the lines themselves, like the channel selection method. I've used some of these methods, and they work fairly well, but I'm, I'm honestly a little hesitant to use a lot of selection when isolating line work, as there's always a possibility of pixel data loss and jagged edges, especially with an image like this which has all of this soft pencil shading. That's something that I want to preserve and I want to avoid the possibility of losing any of that data. So I'm going to show you the method of isolation that I prefer. It's called the inversion masking method. It's, it's pretty simple, it's effective, and there's no data loss at all, and I get to use a mask. Masks are cool. So let me show you how it's done. The first thing that I always do is I duplicate the original background layer. I always want to save that original background image. It has bailed me out of some messes a couple of times, so that's always a good thing to do. Now with my background copy, I'm going to go up here to Image, Adjustments, and select Invert. You can also just hit Control i I don't use it often enough to remember to use the shortcut, but here we go. We've got a negative of the image now. So I'm going to select the whole canvas and I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to create another layer. This is going to be our lines layer. You can rename it thusly if you like, lines. And to this layer I am going to add a vector mask. And I'm going to select the mask itself by holding down the Alt key and clicking on the mask. Now this is the actual mask itself. And I'm going to paste that inverted image straight into the mask. Now I'm going to go into the body of the mask itself, of the layer itself, and I'm going to fill that with black. And I'm going to delete this background copy. Now you can already see the lines on transparent layer here. I'm just going to add a white layer so you can see that better. And there we go. There are our lines. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click on the layer and click apply layer mask and that collapses the mask down to just the lines. At this point I can click the button here to lock the transparency. Now I can do some really fun things like changing the color of the actual lines themselves without worrying about um, disturbing the lines or or altering them permanently in any way. You don't have to use just one color, you can use several. There are a lot of different uh, comic book um, coloring techniques that take advantage of, of changing the color of the lines and you can create some really neat effects with it. So that is pretty much it. That is the inversion masking technique for isolating line art. I hope this has been useful and I hope I will see you all next time. Until then, good luck!